Hey guys, hi, and once again, welcome to the video. And in this video, I'll be walking you through a new feature that has been announced in reInvent 2022. That is Amazon Athena for Apache PySpark. So without wasting further time, let's get into it. All right. So I'll read a little bit theory and then we'll try to do a hello world lab as I said. So let's get started. Again, this is absolutely new, just announced a day or two before. Amazon Athena now supports Apache Spark, a popular open source distributed processing system that is optimized for fast analytics workload against data of any size. Athena is an interactive query service that helps you that helps you query petabyte of data wherever it lives, such as data lakes, a database, and other data stores. With Amazon Athena for Apache PySpark, you get the streamlined, interactive, serverless experience for Athena with Spark in addition to SQL. You can build interactive Apache PySpark application using simplified notebook experience in Athena console or through Athena API. With Athena, interactive Spark application start in under a second and run faster with our optimized Spark runtime so you spend more time on insights and not on waiting for the results. As Athena, uh, as Athena takes care of managing the infrastructure and configuring, uh, configuring the Spark settings, you can focus uh, on your business application. So hopefully that made sense. So let's see a demo. Let's get started, right? So I'm on the Athena console. Uh, here I am on the Athena console again. Now let's see how do how 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 do we even start with this, right? So you want to click on basically work groups. We need to create a work groups. So I'm gonna click on the orange button and I'm gonna call this as Spark demo right uh, all right so i'm gonna do that and here instead of athena sql i'm gonna select apache PySpark. okay i'll click on turn on example notebook so so that we can do that and here if you want uh, you know you can essentially configure im rules policy and other details i i prefer to you know you uh, I, I i'm just gonna leave it as it is i'm gonna click on create work group uh, now this might take a second or two once the work group is created then essentially I'll head over to the notebook and essentially create my uh, a spark notebook. So after you have created a work group you can head over to the notebook explorer over here and then essentially uh, you will see a built in hello world notebook uh, from Amazon right so we're going to click here again now you can start running uh, you know spark immediately right you can analyze your data. Uh, uh, for example, people who like to write code, like, you know, who want to interact with their data with code, right? You can now do that. Here you can see over here, we are essentially reading the data from a parquet file, as you can see. Again, depending upon how many DPU workers you have configured, uh, uh, it might be fast, it might be slow. Again, I'm only using minimum number of DPUs. I don't want to use uh, more DPUs, right? So here you can see uh, the reading has been complete. And here is a very simple example where we are uh, doing a group by on the vendor ID and the passenger count. And then we are essentially doing a count statement. Again, the goal is to show you like we are, we were able to do like spark, uh, 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 you know, we, we, we can do analytics on our data pretty fast using Apache PySpark. Um, so that's that, right? You can uh, print the table in a, in a nice way. Uh, again, this is an example given by, for that. So let's try this out. Uh, we can also write the data to S3. For example, uh, say you want to, you know, have that CSV or an Excel file, you can write it to a particular location. Here you can see we are writing a CSV file into S3. So that's that. So if you want to interact with SQL, you can also do that, right? So essentially here you can see um, um, uh, they have given a nice um, custom SQL code, right? And you can do dot show 50, which means it's going to show the first 50 items here, right? Um, so again, I'm just qu quickly going to run that might take a second or two. And that's done. And now it should show me the data. As you can see, you could do that. Uh, you can create new databases as well, uh, right? So you can write SQL, right? So create database if not exists, Spark demo database. Again, all that stuff you could do. Um, of course, you can um, now uh, we can plot stuff. Uh, so let, let's just run these cells pretty quickly. You, uh, this one, we are creating a new table here, right? So, so see how quickly you're able to, you know, um, do stuff now, right? Uh, so now again, uh, that, should be, that should be done in a second or two. Uh, we can do show tables. This is going to show you all the tables that you have. You can uh, read a new table if you want, right? And then uh, you can plot results, right? So for example, here, 
uh, this will essentially uh, you know uh, go go and then essentially plot the data as well um, you can use uh, you know matplotlib or, or seaborn whatever you like right all these stuff you can use it now right and that's that's basically the end um, uh, of the presentation or, or, or the video so what we have seen is essentially now essentially you can uh, uh, write a custom SQL code uh, in your Apache Spark application. You can write uh, native Python code, right? So then you can share this notebook with your you know, HR or manager and all they have to do is simply run the cell. So this is a new feature that Amazon has recently announced and I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you have any more questions, let me know your question in the, v uh, in the comment section. Uh, again, you can also read Delta Lakes and other stuff, right, uh, with this notebooks as well. But this is just to show you a Hello World demo. If you want to read more, I'll leave all the resources in the description. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.